Hello friends, welcome to yet another video. In this video, we are going to create a simple MCQ page using Gutenberg editor. So this is how it works. First, we'll have the question. For example, which of the following is the capital of India? Then we'll have uh, three options. And then the user can see what is the correct answer by clicking on a small box here. So when you click on view answer, it expands. Otherwise, it is hidden. Similarly, if you go on question number two, again, it comes out here. Now for this video, we are just using Gutenberg editor and one add on to help us create this accordion effect. So without any further delays, let's go ahead and start with the process. So first of all, you'll require to install this plugin that is Gutena accordion. So you can just search for this and install and activate this plugin. Once you have done that, you can go to uh, add new page and you can give whatever name you want here. So I'll just give GK related to India. So and uh, maybe, you know, we can make it more concise. GK India GK. Maybe we can uh, keep it concise here. Now, the first step will be you can write a question. You can name it as Q1. Okay. And I'll just uh, copy paste uh, this question here just to save the time. Which of the following is the capital of India? And uh, I'll just paste it here. Okay. You can uh, simply paste it here. It just went on the second line. So I'll just paste it here. Then uh, what we will require to do is we will require to add a list. It's uh, already added here. I'll just show you how to add that. So we'll just uh, click on the plus sign here. On the right hand side, uh, it will help us add a block. So we will just click on the plus sign here. We'll look for list which is already visible, but I'll still search it here and uh, we'll select the list here. And in the list, I'll just write A, Delhi, B, Mumbai, and C, maybe Punjab. So now, once uh, my options have been added, you can obviously have more than three options. You can have five, six, whatever number you, you uh, feel like having it. The next thing that we'll do is we'll, we'll just again uh, click on the plus sign here. We will look for accordion. So I'll just do A double C O. We'll get the accordion option here. We'll just uh, select that. As soon as you select, it will give you an option of style, style one or style two. We'll go with uh, style one here. The difference is here we have the plus sign and there we will have the down and the up arrow. Now here it's showing three accordions. Now we don't need three. So we'll just uh, delete uh, the extra ones uh, which are here. And uh, we can uh, just uh, delete uh, all the options uh, that are there. Now once uh, this has been uh, deleted, in the title of the accordion, I'll just double click it and name it as view answer okay so there's a spelling mistake i'll just correct that and here i'll write option option a Delhi. Now, one thing to remember is you need not write any of the answer hints or anything on the title of the accordion because otherwise it will be visible even when the user is not opening the accordion. Okay, there's one extra block here. I'll just delete that. So, here we are done with uh, uh, the question number one. I'll just add one more question before I publish uh, this page and uh, here, I'll just write question two. 
dot which is the national bird or national animal of india i'll write add a question mark i'll just click here i'll get the plus sign to add a block here i'll just uh, add i'll just click on the plus sign select the list i'll just write option a tiger you can obviously jumble the options also like the correct answer is coming on a peacock and option number c will be elephant now again we'll click on the plus sign here we'll click on the accordion we'll select the first option so that it's consistent consistent you don't want to you know have a plus sign in option number 1 or answer 1 and a drop down in the option or answer number 2 so i'll just uh, delete all the extra elements you just need to click on the element and click on delete you can hit delete and it will delete that specific section so i'll delete the last part again okay it's all deleted and uh, here again we'll change it to view okay it's changing the styling here so i'll just write uh, the option first option a again tiger you can write the description and the explanation as well and uh, here i will just change the title to view answer and uh, here we are done with uh, both the questions and their options and i'll just publish this page once the page is live i can just uh, click on view page so we have got a neat url india gk and if you just scroll down which of the following is the capital of india view answer option a delhi which of which is uh, the national animal of india view answer and we have got tiger as a answer so this is very uh, you know it's it's a simple way of creating mcqs in fact uh, you can add separators also you can uh, click a plus sign here you can add a maybe spacer or separator so we have got a separator here uh, in gutenberg so we can just uh, update it and uh, you know so you can decorate uh, your entire page with separators and uh, maybe you you don't want to utilize this entire page you can divide the page into two you can make two columns so basically you can play around with this you can add banners around it about your courses that you're trying to sell and all so this is something uh, which you can you know uh, play around with uh, easily if you're looking to do this in elementor we have a video uh, right here you can have a look at that as well Thanks for watching and do subscribe if you like our content.